Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC, with a little white box from just up the road in Bellbrook, Ohio, from C. Wisner Cutlery. I did a little shopping for my old man for Christmas. This is what I bought him. That is right, it's been a minute uh, since I bought anything from C. Risner Cutlery, otherwise known as Traditional Pocket Knives. Uh, great website, they have a ton of slip joints and traditional pocket knives. Wow, imagine that, imagine that. This was their first design, this is the Ohio River Jack. I love this thing, made by QSP, M390, titanium, micarta, it's great. This was actually made in Ohio. <sighs> Which is crazy. I think, I hope, future me is going to have a lot of work to do. I think I know what's going on in this box, you know, I'm pretty sure. It's not exactly what I wanted, but uh, what I wanted to get the old man was uh, sold out in about 12 seconds, so I couldn't do that. So we get some paper, we got some, uh, we got some cards, got some cards there, okay. Got some, st some stonkers, gotta love some good stickies. Uh, thank you, Cole. Austin, Austin, my dude, you're so welcome. Little TPK sticker. Got some stickers. Get that out of here. And then we have this. Nothing left in the box. Get it out of here. See you later, chump. We have a nice little tube. Rolled up with love in printer paper. It's see. Hello. This is, an in this is new. This is tubes. Tubes are interesting. I like a good tube. Made in the USA. Some paper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Made in Winchester, Ohio. Future me? Don't know where that's at, so good luck finding that. Uh, handmade, hand-sharpened, made in the USA. Pocket knife, battle axe brand. Uh, I thought this was like Cooper's Cutlery, I think is what it's called. Future me? Good luck. But a, just a simple little old tube with a simple little old Made in the USA sticker, and I'm here for it. Uh, I don't do a ton of slip joint stuff, but I do love slip joints. And my old man definitely loves slip joints. What do we have? What do we have here? Cooper Cutlery, that's what it is. Limited lifetime warranty. Congratulations, you purchased a high-quality knife that is made with the same care and material as your father or grandfather's favorite knife. Well, uh, this is about to be my father's favorite knife. Nothing left in the tube there. Let's take a look, see here, what we got. I forget. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, dude, it's way bigger than I thought. This is... What? What is this? Battle Axe brand? Future Me, what is this model name? This is a Cooper's Cutlery... Old fashioned slip joint, baby. Battle axe brand makes sense. We have the nice little inlay of the battle axe there. I forget the material these handles, but it feels like it's made with love, dude. You could, it's got texture to it, like you're gonna get splinters from it. And I'm kind of here for it. Really nice polished bolsters on either end. We got two different blade shapes on this one. It's a pretty big boy. It's a pretty thick, substantial boy. There it is next to the Ohio River Jack. Uh, which is a thick knife, but this being two blades, yeah, this is substantially thicker. I'll give you a size comparison next to some modern knives. Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall, about Rockwall size and length. Here is a Spyderco Pair 3. So yeah, I mean a decent size for EDC, but it is pretty big, pretty long for a slip joint. I will say, I'm used to thin, minimal, lightweight boys. Nice and girthy, everything's nicely polished. Very, very nice. Uh, looks like brass innards if you can see that on camera the innards are brass we got a nice nail nick here let me let me pull this guy open no half stop but a nice substantial thwack and we even have the laser etched battle axe on the blade here battle axe brand winchester ohio made in 2022 nice full flat grind very very pretty this wasn't that um wasn't that expensive for being all american made this was 150 bucks i think they sold out pretty damn quick. So there is your drop point, kind of clip point, old school style blade there. Very nice. No half stop, which is a little sus, but that's okay. And then we have this kind of sheep's footy blade shape. Future Me, you can call that whatever you want. Again, full flat grind. Not sure of the blade steel. Future Me, you can figure that out. You can figure that out. But there you go. Beautiful. I would like it to have a little bit of a half stop, but that is what it is. A little bit of gr a grit in the movement. You know, just a little bit of grit in the movement. But very nice. Ergo's in hand. Yeah, I mean, really nice spring tension. Like, that locks in pretty well. So, right here, it's a big knife. It's a full-size knife to, for a slip joint. So, yeah, fills the hand really well. Nice and thick. Thumb right here. Don't put uh, too much pressure. You will cut yourself. I have done it. But that feels fine. 
No problems there. Uh, can you pinch grip a slip joint? Yeah, yeah, 50% of the day. It's not a home run slam dunk kind of pinch grip, but it'll you can pinch it. You can pinch it if you want. That sounds weird. There is some writing. May God bless and protect you. That's a nice little touch. That is a very nice little touch. Very nice. So ergos are decent. I mean, it's an old timer slip joint, baby. You know what I mean? It's it's this is about as old school as it gets for a, a, a slip joint made in 2022. You know what I mean? <laughs> but very nice. Yeah, it feels fine in the hand. Uh, an open size comparison, real quick. Tecton Fco Rockwall again, right in that ballpark for size. Spartaco pair three. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a full size EDC night. Like it's EDC size. Usually slip joints are shorter, they're thinner, they're lighter, you know what I mean? This is big papa territory we're talking about here, okay? Very nice. So action, like I said, a little bit of grit going on, but a nice snap close. We do not have a half stop, but there's enough kind of tension resistance that it'll stop there. There's just not a hard half stop, right? Then you pull her open all the way. Close her down. Same deal with the sheep's footy style blade. No real half stop, but it'll get to about there and it'll stay there. No worries. A little bit of grit. Might need a little bit of oil. Oiled up. Thank goodness Christmas is still a month and a half away. Or, yeah, a month and a half. So I got time to work on it. It's nice, you know. The old man will love it. The old man will approve. Uh, you know, for those who don't know, my, my father owns a manufacturing company here in Ohio. So I saw this made in Ohio. I was like, that's got the old man's name all over it. And it does. He'll love it. I'm sure he will. Uh, we got to cut something with it. So... Uh, feeling these factory edges. I don't know what the blade steel uh, is. Future me. Figure that out. Not a killer factory edge on those. But she may cut. Whoa, no, she may not. Not a usable factory edge. This is my first experience with this company. You know, it's going to need some sharpening. Luckily, I know a guy, aka me. So the clip point, not exactly a laser beam. How about the old sheep's foot here, huh? Will that cut? Can we actually catch an edge here? It wants to, but again, not the greatest factory edge at all. Sometimes Made in the USA isn't all it's cut out to be. Just letting you know. But again, it's not for me. It's for the old man. He will love it. He will appreciate it. I'll slap a fresh edge on it. But that is the Cooper's Cutlery Battle Axe brand whatever it's called future me i don't know 150 bucks over at uh, traditional pocket knives i will leave links to them down below let me know what you think in the comments become a subscriber a channel member a patreon member hit me up on instagram on tiktok on threads hit me up don't tell my dad i bought this as far as i know he doesn't have, have access to the internet so we should we should be okay but that is it for me thank you all so very much for watching and until next time bye bye now